In 1877, Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli announced that he had found seemingly man-made canals on the surface of Mars. But by the 1920s, his startling discovery had been completely discredited. Now, more than a century later, new high-powered telescopes are seeing the canals again. In Florida, astronomer Don Parker is using photographic telescopes and computer enhancement to create a provocative new look at Mars. Parker's images are generating a lot of controversy because of these features, which resemble the so-called Martian canals. This missed his bunk more than 50 years ago. Don Parker, in some cases, has uh, pushed the resolution on them by uh, very strong processing methods that you can do with these electronic pictures. And in some cases, uh, lines have come out that look very much like the canals. The belief that an elaborate system of canals exists on the surface of Mars began with Schiaparelli, but was popularized by American astronomer Percival Lowell, who proposed a startling theory about the creation of the Martian canals, and his observations made headlines. Lowell was the major proponent of the idea that the canals might be artificially made by intelligent beings. And he spent a great deal of his time trying to sell this idea to both the scientific community and the general public. He thought that there were Martians. For the past 30 years, astronomer Leonard Martin has been curator of the original observatory built by Lowell in 1894 in Flagstaff, Arizona. Many of Lowell's original papers, sketches, and calculations are stored in this underground vault. This is one of Percival Lowell's original Mars logbooks uh, that he used at the telescope. And uh, these are the original sketches that he made after his observations. If you look closely on them, you can see what Lowell considered canals. And these sketches then were transferred later on to these Mars globes, which are a real treasure of uh, Lowell Observatory. As bigger and better telescopes were built and failed to capture Lowell's Martian canals, his theory fell out of favor. And when Mariner 9 took the first close-up pictures of Mars, it seemed that Lowell's canals were gone forever. Lowell was a keen observer. Uh, however, he, he was straining his eyes to see these things that he thought he saw. He pushed himself a little too far. Nearly all modern astronomers reject Lowell's theory of artificially constructed canals on Mars. However, Percival Lowell's influence as a scientific pioneer is still felt. Well, I think that any search for life has to include Lowell as a player because uh, Lowell created a lot of interest in uh, the possibility of extraterrestrial life. And uh, so our search using SETI is, is part of that. And, uh, uh, certainly, his influence is felt and always will be. The Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, is open to the public year-round and boasts a brand-new visitor center where everyone is welcome to explore the oldest observatory in the West.